Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 7 of season 2 of Promise Neverland. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That's too bright on my face. Like, Jesus Christ. I should have got one another one of those because I need something to make me stay up. Don't do what I did. Seriously. Do not wake up at like 6 45 in the morning get ready to do stuff and then you have to do some other things then you record your first show at like 10 11 o'clock you go to sleep you don't wake up until about two going on three o'clock in the afternoon you watch state of play then you have to re-edit your patreon shows not once not twice but three times because of youtube's copyright claim bullshit and you are finally watching the rest of your Thursday shows at like 2.44 in the morning and trying to hurry up and get everything done by 10 a.m. today so that you can get at least four of these shows plus the rest out before the fucking power goes out because the power's going to be out for five fucking hours. I just... Ugh. I hate this complex. I love it because of memories, but I hate it because they are not... On their shit. See, I kind of wish that we get one episode still, you know, Norman, because you know, yeah, you need to talk about whatever the fuck also happened to you because Norman, you ain't the same person. Mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. My fucking hair. Oh. I Man, but not the same reason why you two know him. Of course, they will want it for themselves. Mm hmm. Mainly for her blood, yeah. Right. I 
I mean, well, yeah, but then at the same time, but... Mm, yeah. It's just complicated now. Oh. No. And that passage isn't there anymore, is it? No. Mm. Of course. You're right, because they might immediately want to kill you as well. See, no matter what, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. I, I don't even know what the hell they would be able to do right now. Jesus Christ, Cody. This ain't the same Norman. I oh God. I just I want to know what else happened to him that day. Emma.
There's no way in hell you can find them in ten days. Come here. Can you wait until I'm done and I'll let you go, pup? You can go hang out with mom. Uh -uh. Come on. Uh, you know what? I, I really don't trust him anymore. I, I mean... I love him so much. He's one of my personal fave characters, but because it's been a, wa a long time since we've seen him, and we barely really know what the fuck happened to him, I can't trust him anymore. Like, oh, he just scares me. I mean, damn, like all them pills, she gotta take all of them at the same time? Shit. Of course he's still on your side. Hmm. I don't know about this. I just don't want to, you know, go on with the attack. Oh shit! What the fuck is this? Yeah, I re you know, mm -hmm. I, I really can't trust him anymore. Yes, yeah, so no way in hell you can find them in five damn days.
You just sympathize with them. You care for them. That's what we was all thinking, but because Emma is Emma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because she could have said nothing to you guys. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause you know, Norman been dealing with some type of shit, man. No, no, he's changed because... Exactly. They could be anywhere. Hmm? Oh, going south for the winter? Cause I feel like Norma gonna be like, fuck y'all, do this plan. You just scare me so much. See, I want to go ahead and ask that. You know, did that happen in the manga? Did he cough up blood and shit? Okay, let's go.
Also, out of all the places, what the only other escape group is back where they left. In season one, what the fuck? I, I, it's a... I don't like the fact that the music just stopped. Motherfucker, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not going to end like that. You son of a fucking bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Y'all can't. <laughs> Swear to God. Y'all in these bullshit cliffhangers. What the? Of course he saw one of the things, the demons. Someone, I don't know, maybe. Like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, man. That's some bullshit. <laughs> the, see, the fact is that, you know, the second half of this show, from episode six to now, we we are going into a anime only type story because of fact of situations as someone who has not read the manga because from what I've asked my friends who have read the manga they told me that the things that are currently happening in this series doesn't really happen in the manga without telling me like big big spoilers thank god but it, it makes you wonder like possibly why the studio is going this route and why they chose this because a lot of people were sort of because the first few episodes to me were good but now where we are I have no idea what the hell is happening as someone who is an anime only I'm looking at this like where the fuck are we going I feel like in a way I'm kind of watching a different show but um it's still with the same characters like this is now like okay so episodes one to episodes five was season two and now six to however long this series is going to go for probably like what 12 13 episodes um for the majority weeks that we have left this is kind of like a season three in a way but I, I <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, of course we weren't going to see him die because he's curring a lot, currently alive now. But why the fuck is he bleeding out, uh, coughing up blood and stuff? Is it has this something to do with these seizures? And that's the reason why Barbara had to take her medicine because she was slowly but surely coughing and everything. So, excuse me to the point where she was gonna um cough up blood or something like that there's st there's a lot of unanswered questions with this and because of the fact is we're going into a filler we're in a filler type arc I can't in a way ask my friends who have read this series what do they think is gonna happen because they don't know what the fuck is going on because of the fact is we've gone straight to, you know, being with the manga to now going into a different thing that is nowhere near it. And so it, it just, I don't know. It, like I said, it's teeter-totting. I still love this show. But, I, like, there are moments where I feel like I'm watching a completely different fucking show. I, I, love, I still love Norman. He's still one of my favorite characters. But at the same time, like I said, I feel like I can't trust him. So hopefully going into next week's episode, episode 8, we do get to see more of what else happened to him. Um, after he left Norman Ray. Because, I mean, not Norman Ray, Emma Ray. Because there's so much things unanswered. And it makes you so wonder. And I am probably going to go ahead and ask again when we get to certain moments next week. Was this in the manga or was this not in the manga? Because him coughing up blood, I feel like that was in the manga. Who who fucking knows? Because <laughs> I don't fucking know. I mean, but it, it, it's a good episode. I don't know if they'll be able to find 
um, what's her face in like five days, especially when it's you know Ray, Emma, Gilda, and Dawn. Those four going out and on a time crunch. Who knows what the fuck could happen next, really? But something tells me that like Norman is going to be like, oh well, while they're gone, that's when he's going to set the, his plan into motion of killing the demons and such. But yeah and then we you know they mom isabel where the fuck they mom at i mean she's supposed to be out here hunting for him so where the hell she at but i thought she would have popped up again but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven of season two of the promised neverland if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next thursday friday for episode eight bye guys